Well, hello there. Welcome to another break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fett me. And today I've got a hobby box of 2022 Gypsy Queen Baseball. So I stopped at my LCS yesterday and they had one box left. So I decided to grab it considering it was the same price as it was on Toff's website. But instead of having to pay shipping, an additional charge for shipping and stuff, it was just 140 bucks. So I grabbed it. Yeah, they didn't have any Series 2 or anything like that, but I'm not really keen on Series 2, even with all the chatter the day before release day about it having some short print rookies. But yeah, so like I said, this is $140 a box. Uh, you're going to get two, should get two, on-card autos. Per box and in years past I say in years past in the past couple years they've had the chrome box topper packs but this year they decided to just intersperse the the chrome cards in the product so but as well you get the different short prints so you get the missing nameplate you get the logo swap there are no bazooka backs this year though so I'm going to try to go through it really quick to not spend a lot of time because looking for the logo swap here or the missing nameplate and then you on average get one and there's a missing nameplate right off the get-go. That should be Tanner Houck. So there's your missing nameplate. But yeah, there's no bazooka backs this year, which is kind of a shame. I like the bazooka back. That's just an all base pack. And I don't know if I finished my thought, my thought or not, but you generally will get one of the one high number per box as well. And then this year they have this, the little mini. Jim, killer off. And there are parallels of those. And I'm trying to remember now if you, on average, get about two, two or three colors parallels because they added the burnt umber this year. That's one that I have not had in years past. Here's one of our chromes. Alec Baum. That really does look nice too. Something about the way that they did the, the background. So I didn't look, but I don't see any super thick packs, so chances of getting a book or another base pack. I don't think I missed any high number. Oh, we got a blue. Lewin Diaz for the Marlins. That is numbered to 250, so 155 out of 250. So that's our first color. Hoy Park. Oh, we got another blue back to back packs so of sky blue or whatever it's referred to. Oh, and it's a autograph. That should be Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. Oh, 
Oh, come on. That is 40 of 99. There's a one auto down. That would have been the next to the last pack on the right stack. But we got a die cut. The See the future, Jonathan India. Haven't really heard much about him this, this much there's th that much this year, so not sure if he's a injured or even playing because unfortunately I'm not able to see much of the Reds games and I haven't really used my MLB, MLB subscription this year kind of thinking about just dropping it Hinjin Roo or Toronto right or the rate yep Toronto Oh. Okay, and this one, another base pack. Next chrome. It is. I'm going to say it felt a little thicker. So you got a Joe Adele, Sixto Sanchez, and Kevin Gosman. And then our Sky Blue or whatever is Edward Cabrera. For the Marlins. That's number 85 of 99. So. So that matches the. Steven Sonato. And this is just a weird card here. It's like the only one that looks like that. Where it just looks like it was a, some sort of a photo shoot photo and then they just put a cloud background. Another, oh, this is teal. Another Tanner Hawk, so I'm getting the, I don't want to say a rainbow, because the other one was just a missing nameplate. That's to 199, 70 of 199. Got something here. Sure, what Strasburg, Voigt? No, nope, I guess nothing. Oh, something just seems I'm gonna have to look at that Strasburg later, but something just seems odd with that. Another gem card. Josh Donaldson for the Twins. I don't think there was anything else here. Marcus Stroman. Former Blue Jay, former Matt.
Jeffer, Xander, Ustaka, Shane Baz, Byron Buxton. On to the last stack. Oh, we got a burnt umber. Is it an autograph? Nope. But it is a picture for the defending champion Braves, Ian Anderson, number 147 of 399. So still should have one more auto coming and we have a few packs left. Dylan Carlson. Otani. Bobby Dahlbeck. And our second auto for the Mariners. Looks like Abraham Toro. Indeed it is. So that's an oddity. To, well, I suppose the Stevenson is not a rookie second year. Yep, that's what I thought. Last chrome. Machado. There you go. That's not a bad one to get. Mike Trout. Not color, but it is a chrome version. Oh, the other next die cut. O'Neill Cruz, see the future. I don't think I've seen a high number yet. Unless I completely overlooked it. We got another gem. This one is of George Springer, Rafi Devers, Dean Kramer, and Santiago Espinal. Down to the final three. That's interesting because that's a different image than the, on the chrome. I'll have to check that out too. Is that a image variation? Ichiro. There's our high number. Let's leave up that trout just on the safe side here and I'll check it after the fact. Last two. Do you get anything bonus? There's a Bruhan rookie. I haven't seen a, a Wander yet though. Judge. Henniger, McCutcheon, Zach Plesak. Last pack. Cunha. Tree Mancini. Reed Detmer's rookie. And a Daz Cameron. 
So yeah, I do. I just did forget these last three cards, but I don't see anything there either. So yeah, I don't think I got very many variations, but... So here's our high number, Ichiro. Our tro Chrome. Batting. O'Neill Crew, See the Future die cut. Ian Anderson, Burnt Umber to $3.99. Tanner Hauk. Again, I'm not sure of the color, if that's considered teal. To $1.99, 70 of $1.99. Then we got the Cabrera there from Miami, the Edward Cabrera. Blue to $99. Jonathan India, see the future. Luan Diaz. Blue to $250. Alec Baum. Chrome, our Tanner Hauk, missing nameplate, and then the two autos of the box were the Tyler Stevenson and the Abraham Toro for Seattle. So, yeah. And then, of course, this one obviously is numbered to 99. So, yeah, that concludes this break. Uh, I'll have to run through the base cards again and see if I did miss any other variations. If I did, feel free to call it out in the comments section. But uh, that concludes this break of 2022 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. So hope you all have a great rest of your day. And as always, keep collecting.